for the House for announcing the business for next week. Well, it's the, the morning after the night before, and as the hangovers start to kick in, they will all be asking themselves, just what on earth did we get up to last night? As they survey the wreckage of their night of mayhem, we now find that we have a Prime Minister who only has the confidence of 200 members of this House, a lame duck Prime Minister who would give waterfowl with walking sticks a bad name. A third of her party don't want her to lead them. Her credibility is in, sh in shatters, her ability to lead gone forever. Mr Speaker, the main item of business next week should be a motion of no confidence in this yeah, rotten, divided yeah, yeah. government. They are there for the taking, divided, wounded, unable to govern. And I've got no idea what the Labour Party are waiting for. We could be shot of them pretty soon. So if they're not going to put in a motion of no confidence in this government, it will be left to the other opposition parties of this yeah, House. Yeah. And can I say to the Leader of the House, history will judge the decision to cancel Tuesday's meaningful vote as probably the single biggest act of political cowardice this House has ever witnessed, yeah, yeah, particularly yeah. when the Leader of the House said to me definitively last week that under no conditions would this vote be withdrawn. Now, if you look at the, the diary, Mr Speaker, there is only two weeks left to have that meaningful vote when we return in the new year if it is not the Government's intention to bring forward the meaningful vote next week. It cannot be the last week. It cannot be the week leading up to the 21st. So that leaves the week that we return. I want the Leader of the House to come to that dispatch box and say it will be that week when we will have this vote. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, Mr Speaker, we need an urgent statement about the decision of the Supreme Court to uphold the Scottish Government's view that their continuity bill is indeed within devolved yeah, yeah, yeah. powers. This Government is now developing a habit of losing constitutional cases to Scottish interests. Hopefully, this will now mean the end of the power grab and the attacks on the democratic institutions of our democracy in Scotland. But looking at them, I very much doubt that. Yeah.